Welcome, guys, to another episode of Two Set Bubble Tea! I have a feeling this is probably going to be the greatest video we have ever made. Like, I'm so proud of this right now. It's like a crowning achievement. Yeah, it's actually like, to be honest, it's like a little fantasy I had. Like, how to, how to try all the bubble teas, you oh. know? And we just needed the best excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Today, we will be giving you guys the definitive ranking of the world's bubble tea brands from yes. best to worst. We try to get the similar ones, but uh, sometimes they have a signature, so we kind of switched up a bit. You know, naturally, you're like, well, how the hell do you get 30 or whatever now yeah. bubble teas in our place at one time? So we uh, went on the uh, delivery apps and ordered all of this at one time. Oh, it costs so much. But for the sake of this glorious video, we did it. Yeah, I think we have like $300 worth of bubble tea. Yeah, just from the delivery cost. And we didn't get every single one because some were unavailable. For delivery. But we'll talk about the ones overseas as well because yes. we've had our fair share of milk oh. tea traveling the world. I'm breathing like quite heavily right now. I'm super excited. <laughs> Can I just say, uh, we're not endorsed by any of these brands. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that, that's a, like a, that's almost like a sin. That's a sin, we're just giving you... Pure truth. Pure truth. <laughs> um, we've, obviously we have our... Uh, tier list. Tier well. list here. We'll also try, see if we can arrange it here, but it's a bit hard, we don't have much space, so it'll, it'll mainly be the tier list. Yes. Now to be fair, I haven't tried like half of these brands before. Yes, neither. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just start. Yep. Okay, Liho. first one, Liho Tea. Oh, that's some interesting packaging. That's unique. That actually, the goal is, is it to keep the coolness? Temperature, yeah. Wow, look at that. Technology. Okay, uh, let's start. I'm, so, I'm... I've heard a lot about Liho. I've never tried it. I just think the uh, the logo's a bit sus. Yes. Uh, time to test how truly Asian I am. One shot. Yeah, anyway. Look, zero spills. Yes, perfect. Zero right, spills. Drink, drink it. Right. Drink it. I have the honor of the You first can go one. the first one. Oh, I want to sip too. <coughs> oh yeah, clarify, we got 50% sugar for all of them because we're getting old, our body can't handle the sugar levels. Not just we're getting old actually, it's the golden rule. That's true. You go to Taiwan, they always get 50% or 25%. You never get 100%. Mm. Like you are a rookie if you get 100%. And normally ice levels, like the ice less. levels is less. I'll tell you guys the reason why you want to go less ice or no ice, right? No ice means more milk tea. Yeah, no ice, you get more <laughs> value. More value. And everyone started doing it. But unfortunately, some chains started catching on, so now they charge extra if you got no ice. Mm -hmm. So less ice is the best value. Yes. What do you think? You see, I don't want to give an opinion until I drink a few more. But I think from what I know about bubble tea, I think it's got that sugar twang to it. The pearls are too hard. Yeah, pearls are way too hard way for me. Too hard. And I think it's, it's a bit too small for my liking. The pearls are... Yeah, the, just a little, The size of the pearls are like a little the size, bit small. Yeah, the size of the pearls need to fit the straw. Uh, you know what, I'm going to rank this like... C for now. Yeah, let's just from C. my experience. It's gonna be like a 10 hour video at this rate. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best 10 hours yeah, of my 10 life. Hour video. <laughs> Alright, right, next. next. 10 Ren, unfortunately, we couldn't get delivery. Because the delivery was. Yes. Uh, it wasn't working. But from my experience, at the moment, I think it was very. 10 Ren is like a tea, bubble tea place. And they're quite specialized in the tea. Their emphasis is on the tea flavor yes. and less on the sweet milk. Yes. And 10 Ren also has a kind of. Not fully, but a little bit of a prestigious status in they do. Taiwan. They do, they do, yeah. yeah. They're like serious tea lovers. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I also feel like the older I get, the more I'm appreciating Tenren. Yeah. Because you can they kind of have the tea flavor. So I'm just going to go like B for now. That's what B for now. I was thinking A or B, but a B, not yeah. S. Not S, not S. Yeah. Definitely not S yet. Okay, next one. Haiti, oh yeah. So, couple things. Haiti is known for its cheese Yes. So this is not their signature, but their brown sugar milk tea, no, not milk tea, brown sugar fresh milk. Yes. Or brown sugar bobo, official name. It's, it's still damn good. Yeah. And um, the packaging is it's kind of nice. You can see. I like, like that they have the, this type of straw. Yes. It's the environmentally friendly straw. And also you got to drink it faster because it kind of shrivels up yeah. after a while. Now you can see the bubbles all stuck down here, right guys? What you have to do is put it in. Stir it a bit. Mm. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look. No, oh, no. Look. Oh, 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 watch out. I'm gonna be oh. oh, my leg's stuck. Just look how, like... The, the, now the brown the sugar, sugar is... is coated. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, so I think the pearls are perfect. Mm -hmm. It's squishy. That's not hard. It's right size. Oh, you take it too. You realize how we're gonna drink? Oh. We're gonna pace ourselves. All right, I think S or A for now. Let's put A for now. Yeah, A for now. I'd say the the brown sugar has a nice, I don't know, like mapley type of. Yeah, it's, I, I, I almost think of coffee almost. Mm, mm. It's like a nice. It's, it's not caffeine, but almost tastes a bit of caffeine in it. Yeah. And I think they may have roasted the sugar, mm. and that's where the flavor comes from. When you mm. roast the tea or the sugar itself, the flavor is like this burnt flavor. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Oh, look, next one. Tiger sugar, oh. let's go. This oh. is a powerful one. Powerful. I know in Taiwan it's definitely up in the ranks. They're, they're, they're famous for having mousse. Oh that's their God. spin to it. Brown sugar mousse. Oh! Mmm. 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 Oh, it's so good. He's <laughs> drinking too. <laughs> I think these pills are really good. Yeah. Probably better than Haiti. Yeah. I love the so I love chewy. I love the flavor at the end. You can taste the mousse, mm. whatever it is. It hits you at the very end. It's like mm. two flavor thing. Yeah. I'm I think both, both are S. S. Nah, me too. Because both. aesthetics, we're adding everything in. Yeah. So I think both are S right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, the alley, we. I was so annoyed. Ali wasn't showing up on delivery as well. Because Ali's pretty good. Ali is really good. Just from memory, yes. I'm gonna put it on this, yeah. but I could be wrong. Yeah. Holland, we've never tried this one this before. This is interesting. I mean, I'm looking at your reaction. I think my mum makes better milk tea. E, L, F, E. Fen Fen Cha. Cha. never tried that one before. Oh, look at this packaging! Wow! That's different. And look how big those balls are. Oh, I like big balls, let's go. Big balls. And, and what do you do with the hole? through there. Wow, so you still get the whole experience. Let's take this out. Get it, the whole experience. Eh. Nah. Okay, nah. one thing I like about it is like the amount of sugar. I feel like the balance is lower. The aftertaste but, is not good. But the aftertaste is not good, and I can taste the starch of the pearls. I think the tea is a bit on the bitter side, but it tastes what? E or yeah. F? I'm just going to E for now. E for now. All right, R&B, oh yeah. I've heard good things about r and I've had this before. How does it taste? I'm not a fan of it. I feel like I the too. milk and the pearls don't integrate. There's not a harmony. Okay, you know you're right. I, I agree it's not in harmony. Based of this, D. Yes. But I do remember I got a different one. It was better. Yeah. So that's, that's a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Maybe the other one was good. I have also heard my friends say they really like R&B, yeah. but this particular one. No, I think the taste is a bit separated. Oh, you're right. It's like they're not working together. Yep. The violinist piano is not looking at each other. There's nothing nice. And the sugar of the brown sugar is not as it's not as refined as Tiger and as, Haiti yeah. or right. Yali. Right, fruits. Oh no, we couldn't get fruits as well. That was really? a problem. Yeah. Well, so F. <laughs> F for fruits. Just keep it out. There. Yeah. Playmate. I think this is another one we didn't get, do we? All right, next one. Plain made is not there either. Kung Fu, Kung Fu, tea. Fu tea. Kung Fu tea. Yes. The uh, packaging. I mean, I like. I kind of like these packaging. No. Nice font as well. All right. No time. I like the pearls. It's, it's not it's bad. Not bad. It's not bad. Actually, I feel like the milk flavor is a bit one-dimensional, but it, it's not like R&B. It, it blends in quite well. For me, I feel like it's like a B. Yeah. At the moment. Next one! Koi! Oh, yeah. Koi. All right, interesting fact. You see this? Koi, right? Now check this out. Do. Oh, do, yeah, do. Yeah, do, which <clears throat> means beans. Yes. Now, Koi right. is actually the same owner as Wu Line, so let's rate them two together. I already know what it tastes like. I just want to say I will give Wu Line special place historically yes. yes oh me too because yes. they were one of the OG bubble tea franchises and, and can I say they, they also stood the test through time yeah there have been many bubble tea shops that come and go yeah this one has stayed go a little bit small mm. a bit hard milk tea is non-offensive kind of nice but nothing special I feel like this maybe B actually yeah probably B but we're gonna put Koei there Zen Okay. I already know Zenzo Dan is S tier. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Zenzo Dan, we don't have it here, but it's, it's that good. <gasps> Alright, special one, Yi Fang. Ooh. Now, with Yi Fang, we made an exception. Because even though they're bubble tea and they're branded that way, 
Really, the signature is the fruit drinks, fruit yes. tea drinks. Uh, inside this, look at this beautiful blue packaging. Actually, I like the color combo. It's like yellow, the tea is a bit yellow, orangey, mm -hmm. and plus the blue thing. No artificial flavoring, blah, blah, blah. And it's all fruit. Apple, orange, passion fruit. This sh is legit. You know what's funny? I can already taste it when I see it. Yeah. So I remember the taste. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. It's a oh, bit yeah. on the sweet side, but I can't tell if it's just because I'm having a. sugar overload. Yeah, A, let's put A. So I think I'm definitely sugar overload right now. Alright, next one. Whale tea. Do we get whale tea? Kujira, Japanese bubble tea. Bubble tea has blown up in Japan. I remember. Last three years. Yes, I remember. It was so gongsha, it was so popular. It went from one bubble tea store to like 50 in yeah. Tokyo in like the span of one year. It was insane. Man. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Mmm. The brown sugar is really thick and warm. It blends very well with the flavor, unlike the R&B one, which felt segregated. I say A. I say A too. That's a good surprise. But I feel like it challenges Tiger. Mm -hmm. I will say that I think Tiger has the branding to back it up. Yeah. Well, T, I've never heard of it. And another one we can't test at the moment, guys. For now. Is consistency because the amount of times you have to go, yeah, how consistent it is, is super important. Yeah. So this is our first time trying it. The tiger sugar we know is consistent, consistent AF. You know what? Let's take a small break and do some of the ones from overseas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need a bit of a break from drink. Coco. Yeah. I think Coco is a C or B C. for me. C. I think it's better Leo tea though. For my opinion, I remember in Brisbane. Well, maybe I'm Leo should be D. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. C. Cha time. It used to be good, but then the quality fell a lot. I don't know what happened. I'd say it used to be like A and B, now it's a C. Chow time was our high school thing. We used oh, to yeah. get it all the time high school. Yeah. Come oh, by. Sugar. I wasn't a fan of come by. Do we got come by? It's in Taipei. Oh yeah. If I recall correctly, it would be around Also C. K, it's like a C. Yeah. Machi Machi! Okay, Machi Machi is a special one, because we have cheese. So it's kind of tea. like hey tea, but also because the delivery guy messed it up and grabbed the wrong order. Yeah, I know. And the packaging is like... Delivery guy, yeah. why'd you give us the wrong thing? Oh, uh, they got the wrong, okay. This is my, actually my first time having Machi Machi, so... I'm curious to see Dude, how... you know what? I just, want, I just want to eat the cheese. Look at that. Mmm, you guys see that cheese? That's... Mm, the calories. Ooh, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Mmm. Mmm. I think the tea isn't the greatest. Yeah, I, I think, think so. the tea is all added down. It's not bad. It's a bit on the bitter side, but also the tea doesn't blend with the taste of the pearls and the cheese. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. yeah they're kind of like all of, like three different things, mm. two different things. Well, I will say though, our standards are getting more strict because we're having a lot. Yes. Uh, but we initially didn't order black tea, but you know. So it's not really a fair judgment. But at the same time, if you're gonna sell it in your store. It, it has to, to represent consistent. your store, right? Yeah. I think C, in my opinion. I think C for this drink. I remember there was a strawberry one I got. Yeah. With like pudding. That little was pretty good. That was yeah. like an A. But for this one, we'll have to say a C. Next one, TPT. All right, so we got the mini straw. There's no pearls, unfortunately. But we can taste the milk tea, right? Yep. Do I have like a coma? Me too. Yeah. Just... I'm like a sugar coma right now. <laughs> so bad. I don't mind the tea. I like the tea. This reminds... Oh, oh. I like the aftertaste. I think that's from the brown sugar. Yeah, I actually think the uh, brown sugar ruins the tea. Brown sugar's not good, but the milk tea is quite nice. Yeah, but I can imagine with the pearls might be better. We can't give an honest opinion because it's lacking pearls. But if I was to get this, I would get the standard milk tea and not the brown sugar. Yes. Tea. I say C. Black ball tea. Apparently black ball's good too. Uh, I have lost my appetite. That's yeah, my head hurts. My, I feel... <laughs> this... Oh. This went from the most enjoyable video to the most painful video. Oh, here we go. Kuro, Mari. I think my friend has bad taste in. I think so too, man. R and B and black balls, like. Right? Yeah, no, no, no. I think E. Uh, e. All right, share tea. Oh, God. Dude, I think I'm getting dizzy. Do you remember the bubble tea you had in town with the cockroach inside? Oh, oh, that was so. Oh! I can't and drink like, now. Mm, what's this in my mouth? Oh, oh. And he was like, oh, I don't know, maybe not. And then, and then at first it was like a cockroach shell, and I took a leg out. That was disgusting. So disgusting. 
It's got the a cheap taste. It's confusing. Yeah. So is it going to go fruity? Or is oh. it going to go tea? I was, but I mean, the pearls are okay. It could be more chewier. They, they haven't figured out the flavor profiles. D. D. Actually, maybe even E. Not E. I think I would prefer Liho and Coco to this. That's true. Well, I'm just going to say this, just because we're dying. I know for a fact, Sita is S. Sanqian is S tier. It's here, guys. That was, <clears throat> probably is the one of my go-tos for choice. Discover this year, so good. The uh, tea is great. The sugar is great. The pills are great. The aroma. And it's not too sweet. That's an aroma. Yeah. Nice and I'll say out of all the S tier, Sita is my favorite. Yep. Uh, Gongsha. Now, Gongcha, I will respect one thing. They managed to have freaking global franchise domination. Yeah. They have stores all around the world. Yeah, and they're pretty good in Australia. Yeah, bring milk tea to the world. I think I've had better Gongcha than this. Oh, that's sweet. It's too sweet. Oh, dude, that's like 200% sugar. But I have a feeling this person just messed up, the maker. Um, oh, from my understanding of Gongcha, it's like a C or B. It's a C. I think Machi Machi is still C. It's not a D yet. Gongcha compared to TPT. Oh, yeah, Gongcha is better. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Xing, okay, look, we've had Xing Fu Tang. I know it's pretty well. S tier I'll, or A tier? S and A. Uh, S tier. Xing Fu Tang, Zhen Zhu Dan were the two OG to bring out the brown boba sugar to the scene. Yeah. Quickly followed with Tiger Sugar that gave their own spin of mousse. Yeah. And then the alley gave its spin of pudding and, pudding. and, and Haiti. Haiti dominated the cheese market, but the brown sugar is also top notch. Yes, yeah, so yeah, damn, I, I can't even talk. Uh, last two. It looks I don't like the packaging, it's very drink cheap. good, feel good. I feel like it's already overselling it. Alright, judging from Eddie's reaction, I don't think I'm gonna drink it. I'm switching the milk tea. In my mouth. At the tip, it tastes just a little bit diluted, but okay. But as I swish it towards the back of my palate, I got this familiar taste that a lot of the inferior milk teas have. It's like kind of like cardboardy. I, I can't really describe it. Oh, just, yeah, I try it. As you swish it backwards to your mouth, it just tastes a bit like medicine. The or evil me for sure. Eat. No. Yeah. Milk shot. Okay. Milk shot is a weird one. I've only tried it twice. I didn't no. like it that much, but everyone keeps talking about it. Even in Taiwan, where people know their milk tea. They do, they, they do talk it. about it. Look at, um, I know Milk Shop's shop aesthetic, we thought we'd talk about shops, but I remember Milk Shop's shop aesthetic was pretty nice. Very nice. Packaging is nice. They've got honey pearls. Oh, it's honey pearls. That's their thing. But I just never was the biggest fan of Milk Shop. Maybe it's the honey, but it's, it's, well, I'm going to stir it a bit longer because honey. Last one, guys. Oh, dude, I'm. Alright, here we go. Just it's got this ginger flavor as well. Oh, it's Earl Grey. Oh, Earl Grey. Dude, that tastes like a D and E to me. Milk Shah, it's I'll like put D. D. It's D and E, but I will acknowledge a lot of people love it and it's different. So I'll give it a D in case it's for you. Alright, guys, so there you have. Oh my. I'm, f I'm, f I'm actually in pain. You know what I feel like? I feel like Dumbledore in the last chapter, book seven. He was drinking Voldemort's poison, and he was like, "I must keep drinking, Harry." And you know, he was like, "No, no!" And Harry was like, "You must keep drinking, Dumbledore." There you have it, the official bubble tea review. Oh, my head hurts. Don't look at me. <laughs> just look at it. Oh, I feel sick just look at it. I feel so sick. That's our official bubble tea review. Let us know your thoughts in the below. In the below in the comments below straw the like button swirl the subscribe button and suck on those balls <laughs> and um enjoy bubble tea bubble tea is awesome just don't have this much in moderation in moderation please guys because yes too much is never a good thing we love bubble tea and don't remember i mean don't forget to <laughs> practice <laughs> i can't talk